right, let's get this done. All right, guys, so let's get some black belts today. And then, uh, you know, I love this day, to be honest with you. I probably get more excited than actually you guys are gonna get a black belt. Uh, because one thing that I do care is about my legacy. And then legacy is not what the people do on the mats, what the people is gonna care off the mats. So a lot of people get the missing, uh, missing understand. And then they see a couple of my guys winning. Oh, you already have your legacy. Oh, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. They win for them. You know? Not for me. I already won. I already did everything that if you're a competitor, you want to do it. So I don't need to leave my dream to you guys. So my dream is completely different because I care about legacy. What legacy is? Legacy is... When you have, like for example, a professor, Draculino, or master. Uh, that's like the kind of legacy that I'm looking for. Professor Chich has, uh, Professor Draculino, I don't even know how many black belts that he has. And in law school, how long did 22 years? 26 years. Do you know how many of the guys that left of Draculino school? and then went to another school in 26 years? One. 26 years. Only one. Why? How he's so good, huh? Oh my God, he must be amazing. Yes. It's because he's real. He doesn't like something, he tell you. He likes something, he might not tell you. <laughs> he's not happy with something, he can't fail. He show. Because he's just a real person. So then, you know, like all, like all of us, us, like his students, have him on the front of us, guiding many guys bigger than him, <coughs> accomplish more than him, doing way more than him as far as a competitor. But could, could we only, can, can at least one of us do half of what he did on his jiu-jitsu community. He just changed the jiu-jitsu in a whole state in Brazil. Changed the way they work. You know what I mean? He changed the jiu-jitsu prospect in the whole Brazil. Our state of Minas Gerais, it was like never uh, knowing as a jiu-jitsu state. You know, ah, these guys, you know, it's Sao Paulo and Rio, guess what? Now probably ahead of São Paulo and Rio and any place in Brazil. People now when they go to Brazil, they wanna they wanna go to Belo Horizonte and train. See everybody's talking about. And then the reason why Draculino never put nobody ahead, nobody. Oh, you're a champion. I don't care. He never care if I was better than anyone or Chich or nobody. And then the same way that I do, you know. And then uh, we care about legacy. Legacy of like what your student is gonna do it. What my student is gonna be doing after they get a black belt, right? What are you gonna be doing, you know, like, uh, obviously a couple of you guys do things completely different than actually jujitsu, right? You have your own job, which is I'm very happy that some of you guys are gonna go, gonna have your school, gonna teach your students. And then what I'm looking for, I look for responsibilities. Like, you like, you're responsible. You do a good job. You take care of the people. You're serious about you, what you do in your school. You'll be a real person. That's what I care. care about this. You know, for me, you know, like money, possessions, fame, whatever. This is for me, it's, uh, it doesn't mean nothing. Zero. You know, I could care less about this. Sometimes, you know, like people get excited, you know. Where's Janaina? Oh my God, it's precious. So I'm like, so what? If you are like something different, like a robot, maybe device, like, right? <laughs> like in a different skin and different power or different. And then I'm like, oh my God, I want to be like you. But if you're not, just like everybody else. And then what Jiu Jitsu does, Jiu Jitsu equal everybody. 
I never know like what you guys do outside the gym because I never actually talk to you guys much, you know. So I don't get to know, you know, like what you do. But when you're on the mats here, it doesn't matter. If you're the president of the United States and then you walk on this match here, you're going to smash some people and some people are going to smash you. <clears throat> you know, if you if you're like, uh, I don't know, you're a famous soccer player and then you train here, you're weak for everybody. Because you're going to come here and the same thing. You're going to smash some people and you're going to smash, get smashed by another people. So it's weak. Why Jiu Jitsu has become so big is because of that. Because even famous people, rich people, wealthy people, president, they don't want to be different. They actually want to be treated the same. But they cannot go on the street because of this and that, but they can go in the gym. Not gonna keep ball them. Just gonna be like another train partner. Another person that can make you grow, that can make you better. And then the other way around. So that's why Jiu Jitsu is so unique. That's no religion. You have all kind of religion here, all kind of belief, politics, all of this, all different beliefs. I don't bring those things on the mat. Keep this off the mat, right? I don't care if you're, if you're a woman, if you're a guy, if you're straight, if you're gay, if you're lesbian. I don't care. That's not my business. We equal as well, right? We respect everybody's choice on and off the mat. And then that's just a few things that I want to pass to my students, especially the ones who get a black belt. The worst thing for the professor is regret. Give a black belt for someone. The worst, you know, like, the worst thing that I can never regret is to give this to someone and then they don't fall. The same example that I wanted to fall. You know? But I also believe this is very hard. If they not fall in your example, it's probably because you're not leading by example. So, <laughs> they not fall, it might be a little bit of fault. So I never actually regretted giving no black belts on my students. All my black belts, I have a huge respect and then real appreciate for them <clears throat> to believe and then stick with the team, with the family, no matter what circumstance. They keep going until they reach on the level. All right, guys. So let's keep going on this. I think I talk too much already. <laughs> First black belt, very special, you know. Uh, she's actually been training here forever. And then, uh, you know, don't ever get fooled by she's been so nice to you and then smile because she can smoke you and smash you. And then uh, she's actually very kind of the do something that actually, she told me that Jiu Jitsu actually helped her and then I'm very happy with that. And then, uh, you know, very a great person on and off the mat, and then a very, very, very well deserved black belt. Terry, step forward. Yeah. trying to make her best to come and training, and then, uh, you know, like putting the work and effort. And then I knew it, that she'll be a black belt. I always knew it. Some people you always know, you know, like you always know because you know they commit, you know, so very well deserved. Black belt to carry. <laughs> Hey, and then you definitely can say something, you know? You can actually just like pretend that you say something, right? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Because she's an actor, you know? <laughs> she can actually like, hey guys, you know? And she can be like a happy person or a sad person. I can. She's <laughs> actually an actress, you know? You guys watch uh, the... The... Punisher. Punisher. They let me do my she, own stuff. She, she does a cool, She does a cool. I'm like, what is Terry? And then I'm like, oh, Prince is back. Oh, that's that's what she is. <laughs> so, Professor, thank you. This is a um, this is a special, really special moment. Uh, and you asked us this week to think about why we do jujitsu before this day. Uh, and I remember my my first jujitsu class. Um, I didn't know anything about what jujitsu was or even how to say the word jujitsu, I just Googled 
martial arts studio nearest to my house, and Gracie Baja Encino was the closest one, and first class was free, so I showed up. <laughs> um, and I remember back then I wanted to do martial arts because I felt like as a woman I needed to prove that um, I was tough. But jiu-jitsu um, did something much deeper than that. Jiu-jitsu taught me about real strength and how to build real strength. Um, and every time I'm on these mats, uh, my weakness is revealed to me. And, and my ego about that weakness is revealed to me. Um, which uh, are two things that get in the way of real strength, right? And it's healthy, because then I'm forced to deal with them. I swallow tears of pride and, and embarrassment and, and um, pain, and they're good medicine. I remember uh, one time getting picked up and tossed by Maddie, the giant blue belt. Do you guys remember Maddie? <laughs> she tossed me across the mat, and I land on my finger, and I break my finger. And I sit up, and I'm getting ready to cry. And I look up and I see <laughs> Professor Edwin staring at me. He goes, what? Did you break your finger? And I was like, you know, bottom lip. Yeah. He goes, well, just pull it back into place and tape it up. You'll be fine. <laughs> and then in that moment, I'm like, oh, OK. I guess I don't have to cry about broken fingers. I can just tape up my finger, get back on the mat, and keep rolling. And that's, and that's a life metaphor that jujitsu jiu 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 teaches me, right? You just tape up your fingers, and, and you take your jujitsu medicine, and you get stronger, and you keep rolling. Um, and, and I love it. I love having people's feet in my face and their, their <laughs> arms in a bar and, and their sweat on my gi and my blood on the mat and bruises everywhere because, you know, it makes me feel alive. Jiu-jitsu um, requires you... I'm still talking, sorry. No, you keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Go, good. Uh, it, it requires you to engage um, physically and emotionally and mentally because if you don't, you'll get choked out. Um, and, and for me, I have a, it's important that I have to engage in all three things, because I have a noisy brain. My husband likes to call it my noisy brain. And uh, it's a bully sometimes, and it tells me, right, I'm not worth anything, or um, life is too hard, I can't do it. But those are lies. And when I'm on the mats, jujitsu quiets that brain. It teaches me otherwise, right? When I shake someone's hand before we start rolling, they often say, you know, how, how are you doing? And I say, well, I'm good because I'm here. I'm good because I'm here, and I mean it, because I know that my brain is going to get quiet. I'm going to get reminded who I am, where my real strength is developing. Jiu-Jitsu is teaching me about that real strength. And I don't have to prove anything to anybody else. Right? Uh, and I'm good because I'm here, also because I'm surrounded by people with hearts of gold. Uh, and I think it's because of who Professor is and the example he leads with. Um, he's always pushing himself to be better, but never to the detriment of anybody else. He's pushing us to be better, to be more committed, but also with a gentleness and a kindness. And he's hilarious, so he does with humor. <laughs> and he protects us, right? And he always says, before we roll you know, to the boys, if you hurt any of these girls, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> and he means it. But he knows that we're strong enough because of him to take care of ourselves on the mat. Um, and all of the other teachers here, Jason and Angelo and, and Edwin and God, uh, there's too many, and Matt, all of the professors, um, you guys are just gentle warriors of true strength and, um, and you teach me and you're, you are upright <coughs> men that I learn from every time I roll with you. And Tasia, um, you are my girl. And I can't talk about you too much because I will cry. Yeah, I know. Um, but you know, you are one of the main reasons I'm here today. So um, the bond that forms on these mats is um, unbreakable and it's unspoken. And um, it, 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 being on these mats together with all of you uh, requires this intimate um, agreement of, of trust to take care of each other. And whether you know it or not, you know me. Um, in a different way than anybody else does. You have all seen me at my best, and you have all seen me at my worst. And you have all smelled me at my best, and you have all smelled me at my worst. <laughs> so, so, Professor, that's why I do jiu-jitsu, because jiu-jitsu makes me a stronger human, and I do jiu-jitsu here because it makes me a happier human. So. Um, Thank you.
was the best one of the guys. That was the best teacher. I'm not gonna lie. You know, the, you know, I even got sweaty here. Oh, it's amazing. In my head, being, in my head, being, you know, seriously. Ah, uh, boys, start getting those ideas in your brain. Let's go. 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 Let's go.